and wake up and make a brand new start. Anyone can start now and make a brand new beginning. It is the second day in the first month of the year 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bookworm Season 4 Highlights and Happy, Happy New Year wherever you're watching us. If it's on TV, then it is on GNTV Junior. It's on social media, on Facebook, it is Bookworm Ghana. Instagram is one book underscore WMGH. And then on YouTube, it is Bookworm GH. Also on YouTube, it is GNTV Junior. So today, we get to know everything that happened on the big day. I'm talking about two weeks ago where we had our grand finale for Bookworm season four. My name is FM. Let me take a break. When I come back, we get to talk about uh, the episodes from week one till now. We get to talk about season five and then we get to talk about benefits and also get to interact with our winners. I'm talking about first, second, and third from both the lower and upper primary category. Stick and stay. Happy New Year. We'll be right back. Like I said, Happy New Year to you. I'm sure families are around. The program is probably sponsored by Planet Drinks and McBerry Biscuits. It is the second day, Sunday evening. Families are together. Friends are coming over. You need to serve them. They are coming home with kids and all. Then I recommend to you Planet Drinks. They say a word of taste. Also to McBerry Biscuits baked with love. Is it pure delight? Is it blessed? Is it London? Is it bonbon? Like what have you? Is it twist? Whatever that you need. Uh, Planet and then McBerry is there to sort you out. To our supporters, Adjunsan Publications, C2G Book People, Sealand, Fan World, Speak Up Mubala, Republic Investment, CJ Multimedia. Thank you all so much for making Season 4 a reality. Seated with me now, I have my first runner up for the upper primary category and the mall. I'm sure you are eager to hear from them how their journey has been in order. Dorothy Mohenebin, you are welcome. Thank you. And how are you doing? This I'm fine. Happy New Year. Same to you. Are you excited about 2022? Yes, please. Okay. And on my left, I have Mrs. Joyland. Right. Joyland or Henebe. You are welcome. Thank you. And Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. I hope the Christmas was good and the new house is also good. My God's grace. My God's grace. All right. So let me start a discussion with Dorothy. First, how was the journey for Book Grand Season 4 for you? It was great because you got to meet different schools and different people from places you've never been going there before. And you got to make friends. So you made friends? Yes. And can you mention a few? Yeah, five. Yeah, five. Mention them. Let them hear from you. Shafrana, mm -hmm. Rahima, mm -hmm. Alex, mm -hmm. Carissa, and Justina. Justina. Wow. So, along the journey, at a point, you realize that we have to evict some of your colleagues. Yes. But before we come to the eviction, did book conferences in four have any impact in your academics? Yes. How? It boosted my confidence level. At first, if you asked me to do something, and I would say no. You say no? Yes. But through book when you were able to come out with what and what Yes. All right. When it comes to eviction, I'm sure any time I'm here with you people, it's like you don't know who is going home. Yes. At any point in time, did you think that no, today I'm going home? Actually, there was no point in time. That really? So you had the confidence that no, every eviction week you go through? Yes, please. Hey, the confidence is high. Trust me, the confidence is high. Let's go to uh, the mom. Mom, welcome once again. Thank you. How was the preparation like for you from day one to the grand final towards our daughter's uh, success? Um, it hasn't been easy because I'm a working mother. I would say I did most of the training. Wow. The daddy also helped. Even all the siblings helped with her training. But schoolwork, for so mining schoolwork, 
and bookworm program or activities was not very easy. But God has been good. Day in, day out, we prepare during the week. Weekends we come and we sail through. But even before she came to the program, I was even surprised because she's that reserve type. You always see her called in the in the couch reading. So she impressed upon me that she would like to go to bookworm. I don't know what is that bookworm thing because <laughs> they are watching. I don't really watch, but when she started showing interest, I also started watching. But I told her, you know, your parents are busy people. We don't have time. So anytime she mentioned it, I I just brush it off. Until last minute, that it was the father who went for the forms with her. And even the day they went for the form, it was the time had elapsed. Yes. But God being so good, she was part of those who were called. And even when she she went through, we didn't even know. It was Jaden who I think prompted her that hey, then this is how to it seems you are part. So that was when we, <laughs> we woke up from our slumber <laughs> and then the father had to uh, bring her to start and she did well. I think she was the first on the list during the audition. So I said, well, once she has had the courage to be able to go and she has gone in and she's even first on the list, then it means that she has something in her that we have not recognize so we need to push her so week by week uh, we did our best and god has been good and we thank god for everything will you say it was impactful yes is it a program yeah it's a program her? to her yes. yes i think like you rightly said her confidence level has actually increased because she's that reserved introvert type but I think now she is able to come out boldly than she used to. So I think going forward, I think when she gets more opportunities, that's where we'll be able to know whether really what she has come to get from Bookworm has impacted greatly in her life. But so far, so good. Yeah, I'm sure she will be reading news on GNTV during the very So you get to know whether she has progressed or, yeah. But then, let's come to the big day. That is the grand finale, Dorothy. Uh, you were on stage with other nine of your colleagues. Yeah. Anyone could be first, second, and third. The grand finale, when you stood there, uh, what was going through your mind? Actually, I didn't know who was first. So I, had, I was thinking that I have to try my best so that I reached the first to take. First to take. Yeah. And you were second. Yes, yes. So a big congratulations going out to you. On that day, you won some individual awards, right? Yes. Please. That is best winner for what? Culture, Culture. and newscasting. Wow, wow, wow. Let me put my hands together for you. You did so well. Not for yourself. <laughs> yeah, you did so well. So culture and then profession. No, culture and newscasting. And newscasting. Wow, then I'm sure all those watching GNTV Junior, you should be ready for a senior newscaster coming right next to you. This is our season four highlights for Planet Bookworm, wherever you're watching us from on social media. It is Bookworm Ghana on Facebook. Instagram is one book underscore WMGH. And then on YouTube, it is Bookworm GH. I'm sure you are hoping and eager to hear about Bookworm season five. Forms are already out. You can get some of the West Hills Mall, the Junction Mall, CJ Multimedia, and Max TV. Or you can call 0246-916-298. 0246-916-298. So, Mommy, Dorothy has said a lot about that big day. Were you also optimistic of placing it that first, second, or third? I was very, very optimistic because all along the journey, I think she has won best figure for six times. And I was very confident that she would be first. I was very, very confident that she would be first. But in everything, we give thanks to God. Even for placing second, we thank God for that. Thank God for that. So, Dorothy won the best performance for culture reading 
at the grand finale of Bookworm season 4. So from Bookworm, this is to you, Dorothy. Thank you. You can show it to the camera for me. Doing this on behalf of Bookworm. Very beautiful. You can give it to mom here to hold it. She should also fit. She can't be it. And this is for news category. So best performance, news category, upper primary. And going out again to Dorothy Asantua Ohinebe Korantin. I love your name. Trust me. <laughs> you know, always I've been mentioning Dorothy Ohinebe Dorothy, but today I'm realizing we have Asantua Korantin also part. So, mommy, you hold this one too. And then. Adra is part. Adra is part. Okay, I'm also called you. So we will share the certificate if you don't mind. And this also going out to you for first run out. That is the second position Thank going you. out to Dorothy. Congratulations to you. This one, I'm sure you would want to hold this. All right. Final words, mommy, before we go. To parents, to guardians, to teachers, to colleagues of uh, Dorothy who couldn't even make it to the grand finale, and those who are willing to. Any advice? Uh, to parents, uh, I think we need to know our kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, know where they are interested at, so that you can encourage them in, those, in that regard. And also to teachers, when we are teaching our kids, we need to identify their strengths and their weaknesses so that we encourage them in their strengths. When there is weakness, we help them to overcome them so that they will grow up to become what God has destined for them to be. And also to those who couldn't make it, it's not the end of the world. At least, boom. Web has given you an exposure. It tells you that you are a winner wherever you are. So identify yourself what I can do best or what you can do best. Go in that regard and let God be your guide. You get there, surely. So thank you so much, Mukwem, for the opportunity given to Dorothy to become a star in the making. So to so be. We thank God for that. <laughs> Already <do. laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Uh, so Joy Mohenebe. Now, Dorothy, final words before we go. To all those who want to come for the next season, that they should not give up in coming. They should try their best so that at least if they evict them, they will know that at least they are a star. They try. Yes. They try. All right, so to, okay. I also want to take this opportunity to thank all those who prayed for her, those who voted for her. We are so grateful for seeing something in her and encouraging her in that regard. So God bless you, greatly. All right, thank you so much, Mrs. Joy Land Ohinebe and Dorothy Ohinebe. Dorothy mm -hmm. is our first runner out for the upper primary category bookworm season five, bookworm season four. <laughs> We are not even in season five, and I'm already talking about season five grand finale, Bookworm season four. I'm sure the father is here, and uh, the father would want to say something. Or okay, the father is saying thank you <laughs> to Bookworm and everybody for supporting Dorothy. Let's take a break when we get back. Let's go to our next item on the table for today. This is uh, Bookworm Season 4 highlight showing live on GNTV Junior. On Facebook, it is Bookworm Ghana. Instagram is one book underscore WebGH. And then on YouTube, it is Bookworm GH. Also on YouTube, it is GNTV Junior. You enjoyed Bookworm Season 4. But before I introduce to you my guest on set now, let's talk about Bookworm Season 5. So if you want to be part of Bookworm Season 5 here in the greater Accra region, all you have to do is to pick up a form at CJ Multimedia, the West Hills Mall, the Junction Mall, or Max TV. Or you can call 0246-916-298. 0246-916-298. And in case you've got the forms already and you need to submit, please submit it as soon as possible because auditioning will be happening on the third week in January. So let me say two, three weeks from now, audition will start. We'll give you the date 
in our subsequent episodes coming up. So just get prepared for yourself. Do the kids at home. They've enjoyed season one, two, three, four, so they know what the book is about. So before they come here, they're already prepared for the battle ahead of them. Ladies and gentlemen, the name remains the same. For many thanks to Planet Drinks and McBerry Biscuit, to our, uh, our supporters, CJ Multimedia, Speak Up Mobile App, Agency Publications, C2G Book People, C Land Fund World, Republic Investment Policy, and also to uh, Z Land Fund World. I'm sure I've already mentioned them. Thank you all so much for making Bookworm season uh, for a success. To my right, ladies and gentlemen, I have the winner for Bookworm season four, upper primary category in the person of Rosalind. Kidisu. I'm just realizing you are called Michelle as well. Yes. Wow. So, <laughs> Rosalind Gidisu Michelle or Rosalind Michelle? Michelle Gidisu, yeah. Which one do you prefer? Rosalind Michelle. Rosalind Michelle Gidisu, so RMG. <laughs> <laughs> and on my left is the Honorable MP for Krachi East and also the Chairman of the OT Caucus in Parliament. Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable uh, Wisdom Gidisu, who happens to be the father of Honorable, you are welcome. Thank you, my brother. And happy new year. Uh, many happy returns. Same to you, too. Thank you. I hope uh, everyone is fine. Everybody is doing well. We are fine. Yes. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, so, I will head straight to Rosalind. Rosalind, you are looking beautiful. Yes. You are glowing like, yeah, you did very well. <laughs> Everything is showing. <laughs> How was the journey for Book and Season 4 for you? The journey for Book and Season 4, it was, it was good. But on the way, it was like very scary. Mm. Why you saw some scary <laughs> and mouse on the wheel? Especially the eviction. It gets mm. really, really scared. When they mention your name, come forward. Then when they mention, when you go like, so when they, uh, just put the blame on me. I'm listening. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then the beats, then your heart. Uh -huh. Yes, you want to just like die in that spot. Hey! Yes! <laughs> but, but you know, it was good. It, it, it was good. Yes. And finally, you were emerged as the winner. How is the feeling like being a winner? It's very good. But it's kind of complicated. Because you get other people, you need to be prepared always. You get other people coming your way. You just be walking on the street and you see someone from, from nowhere trying to interview you and all this stuff. Eish! Why will you people come to me? <laughs> eh, I've been waiting. Hurry up and come to me. Let me go to uh, Honorable Wisdom Gidisu. Yes. How do you see the competition? Yes, um, I thank you very much for uh, this opportunity. And also want to thank the Almighty God for today. Uh, it was an achievement second to none. In fact, it was a fantastic uh, show. Uh, initially, I wasn't into it. And uh, they introduced me to it, the kids, and said, Daddy, this is a nice show that, is, uh, uh, that will actually open up our mind, our brains, exercise our brain, able to prepare us towards the future. So I said, Wow, that's it, that's okay. What is it about? It's about reading and trying to questions and show intelligence or make you popular on the show and so on and so forth. Okay. Then let's start it. So go ahead. But you must be prepared for it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it has been a nice show and uh, so getting deeper deeper I uh, began to enjoy it. Yes. But I was the, the, the kids reading showing your talents on the TV, and I said, yes, this is fantastic. But it was nice. It was nice, so, yes. serious endorsement for Honorable. The show was fantastic. Yes, was fantastic. fantastic, yes. So at the end of the day, your daughter, Rosalind Warren, as a father, how proud are you? Uh, yes, like she really said. In fact, because I was into it, and uh, they roped me into it, and uh, I was enjoying it, and the whole body was inside. I said, yes, let me see what she can do. So I must be behind her. And the vision days, like she suddenly said, Daddy, another day, another day. I said, so, in fact, it wasn't easy. But 
Uh, in fact, I was so overwhelmed and actually supported her and boosted her morale to be able to attain uh, uh, that level. Uh, in fact, I was so happy. And I had confidence in her. You know, she's so confident herself and uh, I know what she, she, she can do. So, and she, 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 she has done it actually. Uh, so I have your certificate of participation now mm -hmm. presented to Rosalind Michelle Bidisu, uh, upper primary category. This is to you, uh, Rosalind, mm -hmm. for being part of Bookworm Season 4, signed by the CEO, Mr. Nelson Fipoku. And then let me bring out the big one. Yeah. I didn't feel it on that day, so I'm sure I will have to hold it first before. <laughs> <laughs> If I have to do another presentation, yes, I will do it. Um, sure. Okay, so first of all, there is a medal for you. So let me put that on you. Let the world know that indeed, yes, you came, you saw, you participated, and you conquered. Wow, well, let me dress you. I'm not a makeup artist here. <laughs> so, yeah. And then you had this. On that day, so this award is presented to your name will be there, Rosalind Michelle Gidisu, for being the winner of the Bookworm season four upper primary category. Bookworm read today, lead tomorrow. So let me give this to Daddy. Thank you, Thank and you. then let me do another presentation. I'm sure the camera is taking it. Congratulations to you! Congratulations to you. I'm sure very soon you'll be seeing her more often on GNTV Junior, reading the news to you and all. Let me, now there is an exchange program mm. I know you are aware of. What do you make of it? Would it help the career of uh, Rosalind Gidisu and all? Uh, yes. And I think it's a, it's a laudable idea. And then the steps being taken to propel them towards that. Uh, it's nice, and I'm so happy about it. And uh, new exchange programs always broaden the knowledge scope of every child. You go to learn from others, the way they also interact to you, and you will be in a different environment. Like we've also been traveling outside the country to do similar programs. People come to Parliament to see the way we also do our things, emulate them, and go back. As Ghana is being tagged as one of the best democratic countries in Africa. So uh, it's a nice uh, uh, way of uh, bringing them up. Very fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, so, fantastic. Rosalind, very soon you'll be traveling. Exchange people, are you prepared for it? Are you, because you'll be meeting new people, new culture, mm -hmm. environments, mm -hmm. and all. So we should be watching you. Yes. So for our two winners from the lower and upper primary category, they will be having an exchange program in Canada pretty shortly. So yeah, they'll be traveling outside. And this is what Bookworm represents to you, that whatever we promise, we forfeit late. Final ways before we go, Arina. Okay, I'd like to say thank you to the Almighty God. Thank you to you. Pastor White was able to achieve for his prayers and the covenant and consensus of God for their prayers and their support and their goals. I think school. my father, my mother, school. the school, yeah. everybody. Mention your name of your school. You just yes, give them publicity. Public basic school. Okay. Everybody who supported me, the teachers, to Mrs. Manti Ajinfra and to all the students for their goals. And Auntie Peace for helping me to be able to prepare towards the finals. All right. Thank you so much, Rosalind. Honorable, before we go, final yes. words. Yes, I want to also thank you, um, the organizer of this program, very well. Uh, in fact, uh, you have done well. Initially, we, I was thinking it was something small, that's a joke. Uh, something just to energize the system. No, no, it's a reality. Yeah. When the issue came, my, uh, Belinda came to me and also mentioned to me that, yes, she has finally warned. I said, what is the next uh, line of action? 
said we'll be traveling outside the country, Canada, blah, 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 for this exchange program. I said, wow. So this is actually a reality. So I'm urging everybody to come on board, parents to support their wars, to participate actively in this exercise. It's not about only reading. It's about training the child to, to be able to uh, become somebody in future. So, and also to the kids, the, the lower and then the upper primaries must also be encouraged to come on board. Uh, gather the courage initially, uh, it will be jittery. I see the, uh, we panic a bit, as she rightly said. But as the times go on, you gather courage, master courage, and then be able to get there. So I wish everybody the best and uh, in all the undertakings and wish you all the best of luck during this 2020. Thank you very much and God bless us all. Uh, all right, thank you so much, our Honorable Wisdom Giddies, Member of Parliament for Krachi East and Chairman of the OT Caucus in Parliament. Also, the father of Muslim, Michelle Giddies, the winner for Bukwem Season 4 Upper Primary Category. Ladies and gentlemen, Season 5 is approaching. You want your award to be part 0246-916-298, 0246-916-298. Or pick up a form inside CJ Multimedia, Max TV, West Hills Mall, or the Junction Mall. Let's take a break when we are back. The show continues. Don't go anywhere. Mr. Nelson Kofi Poku, you can call him confirm. So, confirm has confirmed the items, and then I think I'll also look at it and confirm. Thank you so much, GNTV Junior. Thank you so much. As you can see, Sister Ada is here, and we have Eric, right? Yeah, yeah Sister Ada and Eric, thank you so much for this presentation. You're welcome back from that break. This is Bukram season four grand finale highlight. So, let me say the entire season. Highlights giving you back to back what happened, you've been seeing it. And then we get to talk to our winners from both the lower and upper primary category. My name is FM. I remain the same. FM jump onto our social media handles on Facebook. It is Bookwem Ghana. Instagram is one book underscore WMGH. And then on YouTube, it is Bookwem GH. We're also streaming live on GNTV Junior on YouTube. To our sponsors, Planet Drinks and Magberry Biscuits, thank you so much. So joining me now. Is the second runner up for the upper primary category for bookworm season for in the person of Carissa Ganza. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? Thank you. Mm. Uh, we think when you not just say Udi Brunyan. Udi Brunyan. Me no be coffee after we. Me so me Udi Brunyan ibi. And I have uh, Mrs. Isabella Ganza also here, the mother of Carissa Ganza. Mommy, you're welcome. Thank you. And happy new year. Same to you. We are all following them. Yes, we all go and chop some of the brunya. Yes. I also need to chop brunya. Oh, yeah, I need to chop brunya. So, yes. mommy, let me talk to you first. How was the journey for Carissa for Bukwe? How um, you describe the journey? It's been tough. It's been stretching and um, sacrificial, and we have been doing a lot of research work a lot of books buying, internet work, waking up early to read before she goes to her regular school. At her school, you have to help her finish her homework quickly so that she can rest, and the next day she wakes up early to go through all that. So it's been quite tough, but um, it's been also rewarding. And she's, she's, she's built up a lot of capacity, and it's good. It's good. All right. So that's it from uh, Mrs. Isabella Carissa's mother. Now let me come to you. How will you describe your own chain? 
It has improved my reading skills. Mm -hmm. It has improved my confidence. Mm -hmm. And then. And then what? Plenty of people want to be my friend. Hey, this is you. Plenty of people want to be your friend. Mm, from school? Yes. Uh, and home as well. And church? Yes. Mm. And how are you receiving them? On a good note? Yes. Mm. So, on that day, were you optimistic or confident that you will be either first, second, or third? Yes, I mm. was. Why? Because I knew that I could do it. You knew that you could do it. Okay, so I have here a citation Best Performance Profession. So, on that day, you want Best uh, Reader for Profession? Yes. Wow, wow, wow. So, let me do this presentation to. Carissa Kukua Ganza. Yes. So she was optimistic that indeed she would be placed at a first, second, or third. But winning best performance, trust me, you have to have the confidence. Now make and Kamenya confidence, and you say, at least me, please. And then also, this is also, uh, so let me give this to mommy to hold it here. Mm -hmm. And then this uh, certificate of achievement. Second runner-up signed by our CEO, Mr. Nelson Kofi Poku, in honor of your outstanding performance and hard work in the Bukrem Season 4 reading competition. Congratulations to you. You can show it to your camera so that we can capture it all. Thank you. So, mommy, before we go, quick one, what would be your advice to parents, to guardians, to teachers, and to those who want to be part of even the next season? Okay, so um, I'll say you need to be prepared. Um, fortunately for us, we are able to pick up quickly when we realize that um, she needed to work more. So we need to push more and um, do extra work. So to win, you need to do extra work. You need to put in a lot of work, a lot of sacrifices, both financially and um, time management, so many things and you start prioritize what you want and, and it will work in, the, in that way yeah. if you don't sacrifice you won't get much a uh, few people you want to say thank you to before we... yes please i would like to thank my church pentecost international worship center community piwc i want to thank the pastor the uh, presbytery and all those who voted who called to encourage us who prayed with us I also want to thank my family and then also um, our friends and um, the public who voted for us, our cousins, our grandpa, and all those who voted. We are grateful to all of them, their prayers, their encouragement. Sometimes I felt like I couldn't do it on my own, but somebody would send me a message to encourage you that, oh, I'm listening, I'm watching her, keep it up, and that gives you encouragement to push forward. So I thank all of them. All right. So that's coming from Mrs. Uh, Isabella Kansa. Now let me come to you. Before we go, find out where's to your colleagues. You made some friends. You want to say hello to them. You want to wish them well in the new year. I want to thank them for voting for me and encouraging me. I also want to thank them for all their support. We also thank the school. The school. Yes, they have been very supportive of us. And then we thank God also for giving us the life and the strength to do all that we have done. All right, so thank you so much to the uh, Ganza family, to Mrs. Isabella and the daughter, uh, who happens to be the second runner for the upper primary category, Bookworm Season 4 uh, Grand Finale. My name is FM. Let's take a break when we are back. The show continues. This is Book of My Lights. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back from that break. This is Planet Bookworm Season 4 Highlight. The name is FM. Many thanks to Planet Drinks and Macberry Biscuit, to our supporters, Zealand Fan World, CJ Multimedia, Speak Up Mobile App, Agence Publications, Christ Lives International School, Republic Investment Policy. 
for making Bookworm Season 4 a success. If you want to be part of Bookworm Season 5, call 0246-916-298, 0246-916-298, or visit CJ Multimedia, uh, Max TV, uh, the West Coast Mall, or the Junction Mall to pick up a form. In case you picked your form already, it is time to present it. You can call the numbers on your screen or visit any of the places I mentioned, and then you can do justice to it. You watch from season one to four, so I'm sure as you're coming for season five, you have really, really prepared yourself. Joining me now, ladies and gentlemen, is this fine gentleman who really made an impact with Bookworm season four from week one to the final day, week 14. Trust me, he won best reader for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, till the final day, week 14. I'm talking about the young gentleman, Richmond Tinadu. How are you doing? Please, I'm fine, thank you. And I hope everything is fine. Happy New Year to you. Many happy, many happy returns. Thank you. And joining me is also uh, Madam Charlotte Asiwome, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, the trainer and teacher for Richmond Tinadu. For her, Many a time when I go out of the studio, I see her, or anytime they come into the studio, she is always with Richmond, making sure that everything is perfect to the D day. If you watch the video, you realize that she was so excited that indeed all her hard work paid off. Madam, you're welcome. Thank you. Happy New Year. Many happy things. Did you bring something for the New Year? Yes, off camera. I'll off share camera. that. Wow. <laughs> Can we, I have security men at the gate, so at the end of the day, we know that someone will not just run away. And you also came with, uh, is it Sibanda? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Sibanda, who is the so school's no. admin, post para Sibanda. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I love the name. And Dafua Bemi, yeah. who is also a, a school admin at Richmond Tinado School. They are all welcome. They are here, I'm sure. They will come and give us a wave before they go. So. Yes, keep it locked. Which one? How was your journey from Bookworm season four, from week one to the final day? How will you describe the journey? It was exciting. It was exciting and difficult. Difficult. Difficult in what sense? It was difficult in in uh, in combining the bookworm to mm. my to my class activities and all. Mm. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure Madame Shalot did something great for you. Yes, please. Yeah. All right, madam, let me come to you. So everyone who wins Bookworm, the person who trained, or let me see the teacher played a cue, how do you feel? I feel happy. And I've been exposed to a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. I, it has helped me to unveil a lot of things I didn't know I could do. So. It has been a great experience to have as a trainer. Will you describe your journey as successful? Of course. Did you achieve what you came <laughs> Yes, I achieved what we came what mm. we came for was to was to win. Yes, and we achieved that. You achieved that. Yes. So Richmond, you were in the competition with about eighteen readers, but each week you keep improving, you realize judges are commending you. Always, Madam is with you. I want you to say something to Madam. I want to say a very big thank you to my trainer mm -hmm. and all those who supported me. And wow. To, and to my parents also. Mm -hmm. Mention your parents' names. Trust me, I want to hear their names. So mention. Can you let them? <laughs> oh, you can't mention your parents' names. You. Eric Nelson Tnedu. Uh huh. And? And, and Mrs. Matilda. You see, when it got to the when you were Mrs. But for the father, Eric Nelson <laughs> Tinedu. Hey, <laughs> <in my hebre. laughs> so uh, this is on the D Day too. For news casting category, uh, best performance, Richmond Tinedu. This is for you, Richmond Adum Animfen, right? Animfen. Animfen. Wow. I'm seeing names today. <laughs> <laughs> so this is to you, one, and I'm sure, oh. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Let me give this to madam. And then uh, this one also, for profession. Uh, what was the profession on that day? 
I saw you in a military yeah, uniform. Kenya. You want to be a military officer? Yeah. Okay. A lieutenant Kenya. A lieutenant Kenya. Hey, not just Kenya. No. A lieutenant Kenya. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen. <laughs> so this is also to you, Richmond, Adom, Tinadu. The other name. We'll keep An infame. An infame. Okay. <laughs> and then, oh, unfortunately, we have issues with this, but definitely I will still do this. And this is for culture. Culture. So this is also to you, Richmond. You hold it for the camera. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you are still live for Book Worm uh, Highlights, uh, season four. We're talking about everything from day one to the grand finale, which took place at the night hall here in the greater Accra region. So yeah, and this was presented to our winner from the lower primary category uh, for being the winner of Book Worm season four. Read today, lead tomorrow, Richmond, Adam and Infim. I got the name correct, Tinadu. <laughs> so this is to you, you hold it. Raise it, show it to your camera, show it to the world that indeed, yeah, yeah. you are ready. Why, well, you bought a Zealand or this is what? A voucher? Yeah. Hey. A laptop. For the laptop. Oh, okay, so we have the voucher also here. Let me put this here. Let the world know that indeed, you got a laptop. So you show this one also. Uh huh. To your camera. Good one, good one, good one, good one, good one. Madam, there is an exchange program coming up for Richmond Tinadu. Uh, he'll be living for Canada. What, what are you looking up for for him to learn? What I'm looking up for him to learn is to learn how things are done over there, to be able to tap something good from there. Yes, in terms of technology, they're ahead of us. So, so I expect that he comes out a better person as he is. Yeah. All right. Mm. A few people you would like to say thank you to, and then advice to teachers, schools, uh, proprietors, administrators. I know administrators are here, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any advice to those watching? Yeah. Let him start then. I. Oh, you want to start? Yes. You want to say thank you to some few people, and then. Yeah. yeah. My first thank goes to the God Almighty. Mm -hmm for bringing me this far. Mm -hmm. And I also want to thank my parents and my trainer who have supported me from the beginning, mm -hmm. from the beginning of the program. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank all of those who supported me the and school. voted for the me. School. The school mm -hmm. and the teachers. You and mentioned the, the name teachers. of your school, yeah. What is it? Santa Mario I got class school. Community. Oh. In, located in Committee 25. That is a the publicity there. Your administrator <laughs> is here. I'm sure she will see me right after. <laughs> Madam, now let me come to you. Okay, a very big thank you for... A very big thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Tinedu for believing in me when I said the boy could make it or can make it. We started with reading competition in the class. So when I realized the speed at which he was reading, I'm like, oh, this program can help the boy. If he's good in the class, let's try the outside world too and see what can become of him. And hooray, he was not only good in class, but also good yeah, out of, out, eight out of his class. He came up as a best friend. So thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Tinedu. And a very big thank you to the proprietors and management of Santa Maria Ical Class School. They would have objected the whole thing when we, I, we came in to say, oh, the school, the child is in this competition. And some people would have refused it. No, we don't want our, our school in the media. But they wholeheartedly supported from when they knew about it, giving all the advice and the strategy. They have done very well. Strategy, is it 442 or 4231? People are using <laughs> strategies <laughs> yeah, in book when so. And thank you to all those who voted for us when it came to the voting aspect. We thank all those who voted for us. Some people we didn't know, but watching his performance, mm -hmm. yeah, they we thank impressed. them very much. All right. So that is uh, a warm uh, message from Madame Asiwome yeah. Charlotte. And uh, from Richmond Tinedu. But I would like to call two people to join me. Yes, something. You to have tell, something to say? Tell those who didn't 
Okay, a few messages for those who didn't win. Uh, yeah. They should keep trying, and they've done very well, so they should keep on trying. Especially your friend. Especially my, especially, especially my friend who couldn't make it to the final. Steve, Steve. Okay. Steve Herbert. Steve. Oh, so Steve is uh, your classmate or your friend. This is a friend? Oh, Steve. Mr. Evans, we see, see uh, incoming soldier man, no politician. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sibanda and Bemi, if you are here, you can join us uh, on stage. One should be here for me and the other should be here for me. Let's crown this all together. Mm. I love your outfit. Yeah, I love your outfit. <laughs> I love your outfit. I love your outfit. Mm. You join me? So, they are school administrators from Richmond Tinedu's school. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing that you can invest in your world is education, whether it is in the classroom or out of the classroom. And I'm sure the administrators behind me or beside me agree to it. So who is Benny? Benny. Benny. Yes. Okay. And this so Prospera. Prospera. <laughs> why, why not Sibanda? You don't like this? That, oh, that's your last name. Okay, so Prospera is your first name. Yes. And you, which one is your first name? Dafua. Dafua. Oh, okay. So. Dafu and Prospera, Charlotte and Richmond, thank you all so much for coming on set, for making this uh, episode a success. Let's take a break. When we are back, the show continues. This is Highlights for Planet Bookworm Season 4. We'll be right back. My name is Efed. Welcome back from that break. This is Bookworm Season 4 Highlights coming to you live on TV. It is GNTV Junior on Facebook. It is Bookworm Ghana. Instagram is one book underscore WMGH. And then on YouTube, it is Bookworm GH. Also streaming live on YouTube, it is GNTV Junior. To our sponsors, Planet Drinks and Macberry Biscuits, we are still in the festive season. It's still New Year. Happy New Year to you. Don't just say Happy New Year. Dash something. Gift something. Give something to someone. It is Planet Drinks and Macberry Biscuit. To our drinks publications, uh, C2G Book People, CJ Multimedia, Speaker Mobile App, Zealand Fanword, Republic Investments, and Chrysler's International School. Thank you so much for making season four a success. 0246 Number to call if you want to be part of season five or submit your forms for season five. You can also purchase a form inside the West Coast Mall, the Junction Mall, CJ Multimedia, and Max TV. I have here the first runner-up for the lower primary category, the person of Sati Achia and their brother Felix Yabua. You are welcome. Thank you very much. How is everything? Everything is fine. Sati, how are you? Fine. I like that smile. Give me a big smile. Eh? Give me the smile. You're enjoying Christmas? Hey, watch <laughs> here. Eh? Happy New Year. <laughs> Sati, how would you describe Bookworm season four? Uh, was it impactful to you and all? Yes. Uh, you've chewed a lot of chicken. Your brother gets me spending <laughs> to my ears. So you have to talk. This morning when you were coming, you, you, you drank tea. So the English is there. The, you've taken eggs. Everything is there, protein. You've gotten everything you need, so you need to talk. Okay? Okay. Are we good? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Sure, sure? Yes. So again, Happy New Year. Thank you. All right, so how, how would you describe uh, Bookworm Season 4? You came with 18 people and you were second. How was it? It was okay. It was okay for you. Was it really tough? Was the competition tough for you? No. It wasn't tough. You had everything easy. Even eviction day, it was easy for you. Because you know you qualify. <laughs> Where from Darwin? <laughs> huh? <laughs> So you can't talk. From here, call your mother for me. I will take every chicken, every dress. <laughs> you will pay for everything right now. Mr. Felix, you are welcome. Thank you very much. And how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Happy New Year. Mm. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you so much. Uh, how will you describe Sati's uh, journey to uh, the Consistent for? Okay. Um, uh, actually, uh, there's one thing. I think the reason why she is unable to talk is 
the reason why she would say she had everything easy, that she's the type that um, really likes to study. Okay. And I think that is one of the factors that really um, helped her throughout the journey. Because if you look at um, uh, most often the, the kind of friends that come around in the house and then they are playing around, she would be the type that will be like, oh, let's get this book. They see this book, any time you see them, they are reading, flipping through books and all that. So I think uh, it was quite a, a wonderful journey for her. Were, were you the trainer yourself? No, no, no. no. Someone else doing no, it? Yeah, we had someone doing it. And at home to uh, supporting her. Was she finding it difficult combining school with book work? Uh, not, not really. Uh, because um, I think on the, on the final day, his uh, teacher was around. And the teachers were very amazing, knowing the difficulty and all that. At times, you'd have to spend a couple more hours at school, mm -hmm. teachers' guidance and all that. So it was a bit supportive, even though it was difficult, but she was able to handle all. Right. Sati, I'm sure there are some people you really want to say thank you to uh, and appreciate them. This time around, you can talk, right? Yeah. Uh, when you go to the thank you, then you can talk, right? <laughs> so look into your camera, say thank you to them. I'll say thank you to my mom and my teacher, Mrs. Tete, and also my brother. Thank you. And all those who voted for you. Yes. Did you get any friends through Bukwem? Mm, yes. Who? Raja. Raja bin Jamel, right? Yes. Okay. That's and all. Manuela. And Manuela Ayi. Manuela was third. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. So, friends, second tier, second tier, all right. Yeah. Boss, I'm sure you want to say thank you to mm -hmm. some people who appreciate their efforts, their support towards Sati. Okay, um, first of all, I would like to um, really uh, extend gratitude to the Bookworm family for okay. such a wonderful thing. It, it's really helping, supporting, making impact in the lives of children. And also, I would like to um, say thank you to everyone who supported Sati and then uh, the, the children as well in the whole journey. Then thank you to our mother who has been uh, very supportive throughout the journey. And then to all our friends and then families out there. And everyone inside Bema camp. Everyone inside Bema camp. I, I wanted to follow Sati, but I don't know, I'm not feeling too well. So I, I think you, you will take the lead. Oh, you can't you can come. Oh, no, I'm OK. Oh, no, no, okay. we'll send escorts. Don't worry. You'll send escorts? Yes, we'll hi, hi, <laughs> hi, hi, then I'm cool, then I'm cool, then I'm cool. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Felix Yabo, and then Sati Achina. Congratulations. Sati is our first runner-up for Bookworm season for lower primary category. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an exciting uh, journey for season four. I enjoyed myself. I got to interact with all the kids, know their names. Sometimes you miss pronunciations and all. The parents will come at you, but well, it makes uh, the journey and also the game and the competition so fun and entertaining to enjoy. So thank you to all parents for making Bookworm Season 4 a success. There's one man that I need to talk to before I bring the curtains down or to a close for Bookworm Season 4. When I come back, I'll get to speak to the CEO for Bookworm Avenue Concert, Mr. Nelson Kofi Poku Confirm. We'll be right back. Welcome back from that break. So before I went on break, I told you I'll be speaking to the CEO of Bukwem Avenue Consult uh, in the person of Mr. Nelson Kofi Poku Confirm, and he is seated right here with me. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, FM. How is everything? By God's grace, everything is fine. And Happy New Year. Same to you. All right, thank you. How will you describe the journey of Bukwem Season 4? Well, um, first of all, I have to give God Almighty, all the praises. Uh, I said it here last season that Bookworm, in short, has been a divine something that uh, no man can understand how this program is improving. You know, um, everything testified that um, there has been an improvement, massive one, as compared to season three. 
So it's good. It's good. Everything is fine. Improvement, even in terms of award, the reading, the challenge itself. Mm -hmm. We can say that everything is so far so good. And for the first time, we've uh, we are having a, let me say, exchange program. Uh, tell us about it. Well, um, FM, it has been something that um, myself and then the directors and other stakeholders, we've been fighting for this opportunity since season one because we realize there has been a lot of reality shows in this country, but life after the show is what matters. So Bookworm was much concerned about life after Bookworm, not the Bookworm itself. And for that matter, we started knocking some people's door in other countries. And thank God that finally we've gotten a certain um, organization in Canada who also um, listened to us. And now they have given us an opportunity to bring um, the winners there for two weeks exchange program. So um, it is true, we are starting with this season four, and God willing, if no be the COVID issues and other stars, uh, probably by the end of January, they should uh, fly to Canada. Wow. But um, wow. we are trying to see maybe if we can, <laughs> latest by February, March, mm -hmm. the winners have to uh, make their way there. Wow, wow. Every season we add and icing on the cake for our winners. So congratulations to our winners, Richmond Tinadu from the lower primary category and Rosalind Michelle Girisu from the upper primary category. So it's for just the winner, winner. Well, for now, um, we were able to push further and um, Bookworm, I used to say that we are family. It's not just a program. You know, some people started by then, the award and package was not as we see that today. Us, no. So yeah. we've also decided to add <clears throat> season one winners, season okay. two, season three, and then wow. this season four as four. well. But you know, for the um, previous seasons, mm -hmm. we are not giving like we are not treating them as a uh, like as a mandate. Mm -hmm. You understand that one? We've just opened the opportunity Optional to if them. You yeah, if you go. think right. you want the to take part, yeah. But okay for the you. season four winners, it's a must. We own that. Uh, we own them that responsibility. Mm -hmm. We have to take them there, and then uh, I believe that it will continue on with the mm -hmm. season five and then other seasons mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Before we come to season five, uh, I'm sure there are some people or organizations that you like to thank them for season four. So. Oh yeah, um, I like to take this opportunity, in fact, to show a lot of appreciations to um, first of all, as I said, God, and then the Bookworm team. You know, sometimes it's so amazing to see these young champs, I mean, giving their best energy time here and there. Sometimes big people out there, <coughs> those who have a lot of, I mean, who have, who have spent a lot of years in the uh, media yeah, industry and other stuff, sometimes it amazes them. Who are this team that is making this Bookworm program happen? And before you realize, you mentioned of seven people, I mean, eight people new champs on board you understand so i'm so proud of the team in fact their commitment is so huge um, also i have, I have to show appreciation to speak up mr oye and the team and also the tv stations um gntv junior and also max tv they are doing well because after production they are the institution that takes all the content for people to see what is happening here so i also thank them as well and also cj production see they are also doing well we won't forget where we started from media seven doctor my main father you know the encouragement the motivation in fact he has done well and the team over there we are so proud of them you understand and then um, Republic Bank, uh, FSM, C2G people, mm -hmm. uh, Adjensan, and then the main motherboard, <laughs> Trillium Industries, mm -hmm. Belacqua as well, because they started with us before Trillium coming in. In mm -hmm. fact, we are, we, are, we are so proud of them. They have really done well. It's not easy for somebody to believe in your vision, something that you only saw it. 
and they say, okay, it's a good idea. Let us all invest in it. Let us try something. And now Bookworm is about two years old. And I can tell you that the rate at which God is lifting this program, in fact, the stars, I mean, um, will go far beyond it. Beyond <laughs> it. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right. So you're still live on Bookworm Season 4 highlights. Uh, you've heard from winners from the upper primary category, first, second, third, and then first, second from the lower primary category. Now speaking to the CEO, confirm. Now let's talk about season five. How are we selling forms? When are we starting audition? How will season five be? Uh, FM, you know, I normally tell people, Bookworm is not just a reality show. I beg Ghanaians should keep this in their mind. We have a lot of reality shows in the system and per their calendar, they do once in a season. But this is purely academic, and we are dealing with kids. So therefore, we see our seasons to be uh, the semester, which is the four months. Mm -hmm. So the season five on our calendar is yet to happen in February, but we will do audition in the third week of, uh, I mean, third week in January. G January. So. Uh, I would advise all Ghanaians and parents, they shouldn't wait. The forms, we, I think the, the forms came out about three weeks, even before the final day. Mm -hmm. So they should rush. Other places like CJ, I don't think they still have some. But if, if you go to um, Wessels Mall, Junction Mall, yes, no. and then uh, Max TV, I think they can still get some. So they have to rush for the forms. This is a good program. We believe that um, school, their schools are doing well for them. But trust me, kids seeing, this, um, seeing themselves on TV, it motivates them a lot because it encourages them to do more. It, it changes their lifestyle home. They don't wait for parents or teachers to instruct them before they learn. All these things are plus. The awards and other things, to me, I see it to be motivational something for them. But the rare reward of this program is the impact. So parents should grab this opportunity and make sure that they will enroll their children. So you heard it from the boss himself, parents, guardians, teachers, schools, and Royal Ward in Bookworm season five. We're in the new year, any message that you want to put across? Well, um, it's, it's, it's a great season, you know. Uh, for us to see each other here, I might say happy new year to each and everyone. Everyone watching Bookworm, we would like to say thank you and then Happy New Year as well. Don't stop. You have to encourage yourself. I believe that every life given is an opportunity for each and every one to add up in your neighbor's life. Therefore, let the new year be an opportunity for you to add up. Don't just waste the 24 hours because it's not free. That's why the Bible says everything that we do within that 24 hours, we have to go and render account to the sender. Therefore, let us enjoy this moment and remember that we will add up to our neighbor's life. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Nelson Kofi Poku. We are done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great. It's been awesome, impactful, entertaining, educative more fun you've learned a lot with bookworm season four yes. for season five trust me we will go to the next level we will be giving you great content each and every week for you to enjoy live on tv and also on our social media platforms on facebook it is bookworm ghana instagram one book underscore mgh and then on youtube it is bookworm gh to all participants of bookworm season four and their parents thank you so much to the schools for believing in the kids, to the churches, to corporate institutions, to organizations, to their neighbors, even living with them, everyone, for believing in these kids and making sure that you contribute your quota in their development. From Bookworm, we say thank you, Aiko, and Happy New Year. To the entire production team, we cannot leave you behind. To our executive uh, producer, Mr. Nelson Kofi Poku, confirm. To our director, Kelvin. To our editor, Ru. To our photographers, uh, Enim, uh, and then Alfred. To Jerry. To Jude. 
to everyone, I don't know if I'm missing some names, to our judges, Madam Lydia, Madam Nancy, yes, 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 we yes. love you, to Mr. Evans Adisi and Mr. Evans Arthur. Happy New Year to all of you for making season four a success. To myself, FM, thank you so much for making season four a success. We pray and believe that 2022 will be more, bigger, better, and greater. So I see you in the Ashanti region. Those in the Ashanti region, I'm sure you're enjoying your program, yeah? We'll keep giving you quality content. Keep enjoying, keep enjoying, keep enjoying. To our sponsors, Planet Drinks and McBerry Biscuit. To our supporters, Adrinsa Publications, C2G Book People, Zealand Fan World, CJ Multimedia. Uh, to Christ Lives International School, Republic Investment Policy. Speak up, Mubala. Thank you so much. My name is FM. Happy New Year to my family. Abnana.